Well, I bet you never thought of asking the government to pay for your rent when you can, <laughs> even your back rent. Or how about this? Even if you messed up your place and you owe damages to your landlord. Let's well, see, there's now programs to you know, COVID uh, emergency programs, you know, grants that are available uh, to give to landlords for people who can't pay the rent. See, so your landlord may not know about it. So this is what you have to do is <laughs> tell your landlord about they could get your rent from a government program or the money to fix up the apartment because you kicked in a door or something. I don't know. Uh, things happen, don't they? Uh, see, here's New Jersey has one like that. Yeah. And, and these things go quickly. So when they bring out this COVID money to solve problems, it doesn't hang around for a long time. So you can't wait to do this. And they're all over the country. They're maybe or maybe not in your area. And I'll show you at the end of this how to search for this where you live. So this is one for New Jersey. Uh, how And it's through the New Jersey Housing and Mortgage Finance. Now here's one for District of Columbia. Now what they do is they give you $2,500 of damage money and $5,000 to pay your back rent. You know, uh, here, Arizona, $50,000 for landlords. Yeah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe they could share some of that extra money because you probably don't owe 50 grand <laughs> back to you because you'll tell them about the program. Cook County uh, pays that too. You know, they pay, you know, to landlords. See, the money goes directly to landlords. They're not giving it to you. They're giving it to the landlord. And uh, that's why some of these programs, the landlord has to apply. You know? uh, so that's what you do. And so to having him beat on you anymore, or she, whoever it is. Now, here's when Pennsylvania does the same for landlords. Uh, may receive direct payments from the government for the money that you owe them. Now that's that's pretty neat, isn't it? Now that's what I mean. You don't know how to ask for this. You don't know if you even to mention it. You don't know. That's a problem. That's why I used to wear the question mark suit. Now I'm in a hard suit. <laughs> but stay tuned. Uh, I have a video right behind this. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I'm going to show you how to search and find out what's in your state, city, or whatever. Okay, now how do you find <laughs> this stuff in Google? <laughs> and that's why you have to start learning how to use Google differently. See, if you go in and say, oh, I want to know a rent, grant, and the COVID. Now, it's important to put COVID there because they're the new things that are out there. There's grant uh, you know, programs already uh, for rent and all these other things, but you don't want them because everybody's at them already. You're looking for the new opportunities dealing with COVID. That's what this, all this, you know, the stimulus and all that kind of stuff will have the COVID. With. So rent, grant, COVID, but see when you put that in Google, you get 137 million, 137 million. What the hell are you gonna do with 137 million? So you can't. So that's why you have to narrow this down. And the way to do that is when you put, you get 130, you go over here to settings and you go to advanced search and down here, there's a, a setting here that you want the last update over here. You see that? So you see what the options are anytime, past 24 hours, past week, past month. You want past month. Then you hit search. Yeah. And now you get the stuff that's new. So there are the opportunity. This rent money and everything, the COVID money goes quickly. So that's why you have to be pretty much first in line many times for a lot of this stuff. So it's best to be <laughs> the early bird so you start getting some word, worms. Okay, so now these are national programs. So uh, you, you have to go through all of those and really it's too hard to find your state. So, but it maybe you wanna look through it a little bit to see what kind of national, here's the one, rental assistance, national low income housing. So that's, I know of it. So that's not a national program. Uh, I mean, that is a national program. So it's not a local. Uh, so it's a more, I hear, Morris County, New Jersey. So that's a local. So you, but more importantly, the only one time you want to use .com is if it's a publication or a newspaper or an uh, article or a blog or something like that. Not a company. You don't want .com so you know, that are uh, selling something. Otherwise, you want just .gov for gov and .org for nonprofit organization. Okay, now let's go a little more da narrow down. Let's say you want to find the grants for Michigan. Okay, you put rent, grant, COVID, Michigan, and over here on settings, 
you come down here to advanced search and make sure you hit that month because you want the new ones, you know, and you put advanced search. Yes. And there, yeah, now you go through that. Okay. There's oak dot oak gov dot com. Well, that's a government pro site. So that dot com is okay. Yeah. Uh, and you go through and look for them. Okay. And, and what there is. So you do this for other things. Just don't rely on one of rent problems because it may be another place. You could do the same for like mortgage grant COVID Michigan and see what's there. And again, the settings, don't forget the settings. <laughs> and here another utilities grant COVID Michigan. So you want to do them all. You know, uh, what's there? And now, see, when you're going back and, and looking at utilities or anything or going through any of these things and you see a program that may be there for you, maybe that's for you. Yeah. You know, and you contact them, see, contact them it, by the phone, email or somehow to see, you know, how viable it is. If they just have an application, then just apply. What the hell? You know, uh, or but another thing, if you see that they're they don't have money anymore or something like that, contact them anyway and ask them, hey, who else has it? See, when when you find a source that is out of work, out of money, out of something that they can't help you, they're a wonderful source to find somebody else because they're in that business. Yeah. You know, and, and they're trying to solve that problem. So they'll know other people around that will solve that problem too. You know, they're your best sources, better than me, because I don't worry about people getting grants in Michigan. I do for an hour maybe this week, and then that's it. These people do it all the time. You know, they're thinking about it 24 seven. So they know other places. So that's why these sources are so important to you to contact. Uh, even if they don't see, oh, you, 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 there's something wrong. You make too much money. You don't live there. Blah, 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 blah. So uh, you ask them anyway, because they're in a better place to know than anybody else. Okay, here's one you can also do business grant. If you have a business, you're an entrepreneur, because now business in the COVID land. Oh, I forgot to put COVID in here. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> and then over here in settings, you go down to advanced. And then down here, you want to see the settings for last update. You don't want any time. You want past month. And you hit the search button, and there you have it. Okay, you contact them. Now, even if they don't have anything, the more people you call or contact uh, to find other places that are not in your search, there's so much more out than even here. This at least narrows it down for you a little bit, and then you have to spread out from there. Okay, so that's how you have to use this stuff. Now, the other thing you want to do is alerts. Okay, what we found is yesterday. These new programs, whether it's rent, whether it's utilities, whether it's mortgage, whether it's business, whether it's whatever it is, are adding them every day. There's new money, new problems. Local people are adding them. So what you want to do is start an alert. An alert is where Google sends you every day what is new on the Internet for Rent COVID Michigan. So you're going to get the new ones first before anybody else. And you set up a dozen of these things. You go to google.com slash alerts. That's plural alerts. And then you set it up. You have to have a, uh, a Google email account and you just put creative alert and it's going to come here. Rent COVID Michigan. I'm going to get it in the morning. I'm going to get you in the morning. Ding dong, belts are going to shine, whatever it is. Okay, so you want to do maybe one for that, one for utilities, one for what are they, just grants in general, any kind of grants. You don't care what it is, <laughs> and you'll get it every day. Uh, COVID grants, this is for the whole internet, you find COVID grants, and that may be fun to follow for a while. You get overwhelmed, screw it, <laughs> you, you stop it. <laughs> or a business grant for Michigan or whatever. See? That's what you do. Then you'll then you'll get in the morning, you'll get the new ones. Like the last couple of videos I did were things that are starting to apply tomorrow, starting to apply in two days. You know, that's what you need to do is be there because this money goes quickly. Uh, a lot of government programs are there as long as people are eligible. Now, uh, everything in COVID that I've seen so far, or most everything is limited. Only so much money is going to go out. When that's out, it's over. Sometimes it's first come, some first serve. Sometimes it's lottery. Sometimes they choose 
on some criteria, who the hell knows? But you know you won't get anything unless you apply, okay? So that's how to deal with all this stuff. And remember, you have to follow up. You have to take, it, it takes work, man. It's, you're just not going to find the magic website and, uh, and fill out an application and get a check in the mail Tuesday. You know, I mean, that may happen. <laughs> Call me because I'll use you as a... <laughs> <laughs> testimonial. <laughs> I mean, that's what you think it happens, but it won't to the rest of us. The rest of us have to work at it, uh, and it takes effort, and, but you have to know the system a little, be able to take it back. If you go and Google, what are you going to do when 137 million websites? <clears throat> you got to give up. Let's fish around and see. The problem is when you fish around the 137 million, you're going to get ads of people saying, Hey, don't fish around. I got it here. Just give me some money. Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of this for you, lady. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, you know, none of these programs. <laughs> and by the way, every the program that gives out money does not charge you for the money. Anybody who says, ah, you're going to get a, a rent grant and charge you. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Anybody says, hey, uh, you have to pay for an application. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Keep searching. <laughs>